welcome back to Brim Hall Barbell Club. I'm Jack. If you like what you see, subscribe. So we're sticking with the theme of Brim Hall Barbell Club, which is not to do what everybody else is doing because there's lots of really good pages out there that do that, different channels that review fitness equipment all the time. So I wanted to do, and it was why I did the Reps Direct Barbell uh, review last week, I want to do things that I had a hard time finding reviews on or there's not very many good reviews out there. So today, we have this beast. This is the Rogue Monster Triangle. Uh, 10 pounds, seven and a half inches long, uh, laser cut steel plate. As always, you can see the craftsmanship that Rogue does. Beautiful welds. Uh, it's got a great powder coat. The handles are, are very well powder coated uh, because this is the Monster version, extra beefy handles. They're actually two inches uh, in diameter, six inches in between the handles. I mean, this thing is a tank. It's very well built. I debated on whether I should get this or the, just the regular uh, Rogue Triangle. Ended up getting the Monster Triangle, and I want to talk about some of the positives and some of the negatives of this. Some of the positives you can see. I mean, the thing's just a tank. It looks awesome. Super well built, just like everything Rogue. It's super overbuilt, which Rogue has a tendency to do. As I mentioned before, you can see it's got the laser cut, steel plate. I mean, this thing's, this thing's cool looking. It's 10 pounds, just this alone is 10 pounds. Um, what I don't love about this, and when you see, when I do that pull down is, like I said, it's overbuilt. Sometimes bigger is not always better, ladies. Sometimes bigger is not always better. No, that's not a reference. Me. Anyway, this is one of those things. It's just too beefy. And when I do lap pull downs with it, when I do rows with it, I feel like the size of this restricts the range of motion. So when I do lap pull down, it feels like I'm just doing all shoulders. I have a really hard time activating my lats, getting my scapula moving, getting my traps going. It's just all shoulders. Where if I use something like my Pronate Grip Mag Bar, which if you haven't seen that, maybe I'll do a review down the road. That thing's awesome. And I find myself going to that way more than going to this on lap pull downs. I also have a really nice Rogue stainless steel lap bar. The thing also is a tank, and I love it too. So when I have those two options, they just work for me, for working my back so much more than this. Now this really isn't designed for a lap pull down. I know a lot of you are thinking that this is typically traditionally designed for a row. Even for the row, I feel like it restricts my movement. You'll see some video here in a minute of the row. And maybe it's because on my low pulley, I have a do-it-yourself version. So I have the Rogue uh, Monster Light Slinger. For my high pulley, I do have the Rogue low pulley, uh, solo pulley ordered, but it's not here. But I have a, just a normal do-it-yourself another cable for my low pulley. It works just fine for rows. It works really well when I use my mag grip, but when I use this, it's just like I don't get the range of motion. So I guess here's what I would say on this. It looks awesome, but it's just not as functional as it could be. It's too overbuilt. Okay, so we're on the high pulley. The monster triangle for the high pulley it's not one of my favorite things. In fact, I find myself often going to either my mag or the supplement grip, or I go a lot to, which is odds because it's awesome, the Rogue stainless steel lab bar. But what I like about the mag grip is I can do it for lap pull downs and I can do it for rows. I would like to be able to have a triangle, since it's a narrow grip, to be able to do a lap pull down. As well as for rows. I know this is more traditionally used for rows, but it's almost just too big. That's what she said. <laughs> it's just over -bound. And what I mean by that is not only is the grip huge, but it almost limits the range of motion because of how big this thing is. You can still, as you can see, it still works. I almost feel like I use my shoulders more and I'm not act uh, activating my lats, my traps, um, you know, get my 
a scab for a woman, but I feel like it's just all in my, in my shoulder. So, for lap pull downs, I don't like it. So my final verdict, I recommend just avoiding the monster version. I would go with just the regular version if you're looking um, at a good triangle. I think this is just probably too much. It's 60 bucks. It's kind of expensive. You can get something cheaper. The bottom line though is if you go to get the regular version um, from Rogue, it's the same price, which is kind of why I went with this. I don't like it. I don't recommend it. And I love Rogue. But I just think sometimes bigger is not always better. Thank you. See you.